Hello to all. Welcome to the channel GeoGuru. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can calculate the cut and fill volume using the QGIS. Uh, it's a very important exercise in the civil engineering domain. So let's begin. Uh, I've opened my QGIS and uh, in the background, I've opened the Google satellite uh, data set. And this is the area uh, in the Germany where uh, there is an open ignite mine. mine. So we are going to calculate the volume uh, in this particular mine. So in order to do that, first of all, we need, uh, we should have a digital elevation model and we are going to download for the, from the SRTM plugin and how to download this uh, with the SRTM plugin. I have uploaded a separate video. The link is in the description. I'm going to click on download. Now our digital elevation model has been downloaded. This is our uh, TM. So we are going to focus, as you can see that there are several mines like this, this and this. So we are going to focus only for this. So I'm going to clip this area and uh, in order to do that, I'm just going to go to raster, extraction, extraction by extent, clip raster by extent. And here I'm going to give my DEM. And here I'm going to click on draw on map canvas. I'm going to select this particular area and run close now i can see that a file has been generated raster that is a clip which is nothing but our digital elevation model if i'm going to use this identify tool i can see the pixel value like this is minus 186 this is 77 so that means uh, here the elevation goes to minus 222 to 292 so i'm going to change the uh, color pattern so for that i'm going to click over this icon that is open layer styling panel and here I'm going to select a single band pseudo color I'm just going to close this now we can see that uh, it can be clearly visualized that here is the pit that means volume can be filled and here is a small hilly area we can say where cutting can be undone so um, in order to properly visualize this terrain uh, we can have a contour map and how to Extract the contour map. Uh, I'm just going to go to the processing. And before that, uh, uh, we need to convert this uh, file into the uh, local UTM zone. So if I go to right click over this and click on properties, I can see that the CRS that is coordinate reference system is WGS84 EPSG4326. So I need to change into the local UTM. So for that, I'm going to go to the raster, projection, uh, wrap projection, reproject. Here I'm going to select clip. And the target CRS, we are going to give this particular local uh, terrain, uh, sorry, local UTM. So we're going to predefine. And this area belongs to the Germany where uh, the UTM zone is 32 north. So uh, I'm going to search for UTM 32N. Here, if you go downwards, here you can see that uh, for the datum WGS84, we have a UTM zone 32. And if you just zoom it, you can see a portion of Germany is lying in this particular uh, zone. I'm going to select this back and I can see that a UTM 32 zone is assigned. I'm going to click run. And again, I'm going to change the uh, color of this reproject. Now this is our main layer that is reprojected. Next task is to make a contour map. I'm just going to uh, go to the processing toolbox and search for contour. And in the JDAL raster restriction, there is a command known as contour. I just double click over it. And in the input layer, uh, we have to make sure that the reprojected layer is selected. And contour interval, um, presently I'm just taking 50 meters and just click run. Now we can see a line a shape file has been created. Just going to close all of this. Uh, we are each line representing the contour and in order to see the contour value of that particular, I'm just going to uh, op open the attribute table. As we can see that uh, in the elevation column, there is the values which represent the contour values. So in order to visualize in the map, I'm just going to click on this layer styling panel and in the contour labels no label to single label 
and now we can see that the contour values are also written over here you can change the color of the font as per your liking okay so uh, now uh, my major task is to okay sorry uh, i just need to after selecting the single labels uh, i need to give the field value that means elev now i can see that yes the contour values are correctly displaying that is minus 200 minus 150 and this is the zero so i need to calculate the volume uh, with the base level zero because you have to predefine that uh, uh, this is the contour of uh, zero elevation so i need to calculate the volume uh, that uh, required to fill this area up to the zero elevation so in order to do that uh, what i'm going to do uh, i'm just going to go to the processing toolbox i'm just going to click this is the processing toolbox and i'm going to search for volume so in the raster analysis we have a command known as raster surface volume i'm just going to double click and in the input layer i'm going to give the reprojected layer and the base level because uh, my motive is to see uh, below the zero so that means i'm selecting zero if you are looking like the area to be filled under the 50 meter contour you can give the 50 but presently i'm giving zero the next important thing is the method so there are four methods so presently i'm using count only below the base level okay suppose if you want to uh estimate the cutting that means if you want to estimate the volume of the cutting area suppose in this area uh, so then you have to use the count only above the base level so but presently i'm going to calculate the uh, volume to fill so count only below the base level and click run so after pro uh, the processing is finished a html file has been generated in a temporary folder a link is this you just You just click over this an html file has been opened and in this the three values are written that is the volume into the meter cube then the pixel count and the total area under that polygon so this is how you can calculate the volume now in order to cross check this uh, value uh, there is another method in the qjs uh, which can be helpful to estimate the volume so for that purpose we need to first of all extract the polygon of that particular area so that means uh, we have to make a polygon uh, under this uh, zero control line so for that purpose i'm going to select this control and select this particular zero line as you can see it has been highlighted with a yellow color and in the processing toolbox we need to search for polygonize just going so here we can see that under the vector geometry there is a command known as polygonize i'm just going to double click over this and in the input layer i'm going to select my contour and select feature only because i need to create a polygon only for this selected line so i will check this and click run i can see that uh, a polygon has been created with the area which is a lower than a uh, zero meter interval next thing uh, i'm going to get the volume raster and how do we do that we can go to the raster and raster calculator and here we need to provide a formula so bracket open reprojected less than zero bracket close multiply by bracket open bracket close and in the brackets zero minus reprojected and then multiply by pixel size so we can check the pixel size i'm just going to copy this cancel and i just need to check the pixel size by right click over the reprojected property and in the information the pixel size is 23.59 meters okay so i'm again going to go to the raster raster calculator paste this command which i've already typed and multiply by 23.59 and then again multiply by 23.59 and i am going to i'll just do this round off 23.6 and i'm going to save this as a volume 
so there is also a file with the name volume i'm just going to give volume 2 and save and we need to make sure that the output crs is utm32 and we'll need to check add result to the project and click ok so now we can see a black and white image has been created which represents the volume of each and every pixel if i just I'm going to click like this in any of the raster so i can see this this is the particular uh, this is the volume of particular pixels okay now i need to calculate the total volume so for that purpose i'm going to use the zonal stats i'm going to do the processing toolbox search for zonal statistics in the raster analysis and in the input layer i'm going to provide the polygons in the raster layer i'm going to provide the volume too and the output prefix will be like uh, volume and here i'm only interested in sum uh, sorry count and sum and click run another layer has been added and if i'm going to open this uh, attribute table of the zonal status layer i can see the two values one is the value volume sum and one is the volume count so the sum is actually uh, this number digits that is 11546438802 and if i cross check with my previous result it is 1153 so that means up to a decimal places it is correct that means uh, 115 into 10 to the power something uh, meter cube which is same in my pre uh, after result and also the pixel count in my previous result is 22837 and here it is 22846 so this slight variation is because of the sometimes pixel size and sometimes of taking the round of value of the pixel size so this is how you can calculate the volume uh, which is required to fill that area similarly you can calculate the volume which we need to excavate or cutting so for example uh, if you want to if i just uncheck this so here we can see the contour values 250 here the contour values 200 150 so if you want to look uh, the area which needs to be excavated uh, above the 150 meter contour so we are going to what we're going to do we're going to go to the volume raster volume surface volume and here i'm going to give input layer as reprojected and the base level this time will be like 150 or as per your requirement and this time it will be like count only above base level okay so you need to work out as your own exercise so this is how you can calculate the cut and fill volume of any raster using the digital elevation model in QGIS hope you liked the video and if you found this video informative then please share this video to your colleague friend and subscribe to the channel thank you